ブリーチブレイブソウルズ Alrighty, what is going on, you guys? This is your bud, the Dash Master, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today, we are finally going to be showcasing the Beyond Bankai version of Sajin. So, shout outs to Shape once again because he did grant me access to showcasing his Matra and Sanito show, and now we have access to his Sajin, which, by the way, is 4-5. Freaking crazy. <laughs> so, pretty much semi Max transcended, and he's gonna have. Most of the stuff available from the start. But now let's just go ahead and get to showcasing this character now. This character, he is the PvP character of the banner, is a Soul Reaper slash Captain affiliated unit with no affiliation killer and human killer. So bye bye, Yuha. Bye bye, Chad. Because that's literally what this dog is going to be eating tonight. And on top of that, again, like I said, it's 4 5 with attack, focus. Defense and stamina all at level 10. So, pretty much what you would、uh, want to have on him in terms of transcendence slot, which is crazy. He's going to be doing all the damage. He's going to be tanking all the damage. He's just going to be able to do everything, just that he doesn't have the extra 500 attack. But honestly speaking, I think at 4 5, it's just fantastic already, as is. And the Soul Trait, he's got damage reduction of 20%, so he's going to be tanking a lot. On top of that, in terms of the bonus abilities, he's got low stamina damage boost and Dodge on those bonus abilities. Pretty much one of the best possible bonus abilities to give to this character just because of the fact that you're gonna be losing stamina, so having low stamina damage boost is gonna help out. And having dodge will also pretty much prevent Sajin from taking a couple of hits and being able to survive a bit more. And in any case, if you want to replace these bonus abilities for anything else, The only viable option would pretty much be Pierce Barrier, since we do have a couple PvP characters running amok with Star Barrier plus 10, like Kenpachi, or even people that try to bring 6th Anniversary Aizen in this case to give him Star Barrier and Pierce Barrier. So there's that. Now, getting into the actual skills, he's got Paralysis and Laceration. Right now in the meta, there is nobody, with the exception of Spirit Star Forever with you, Kenpachi, that is immune to Paralysis. So, pretty much, Sajin is going to be screwing everyone over. And on top of that, he is immune to paralysis and drain. So, uh, yeah. Bye bye, Yuha. He's not going to be able to touch this dog whatsoever. Even if he has Captain Killer, he's not killing Sajin, which is crazy enough to even think about. And has Sprinter Plus One as well. So, for PvE, he's going to have Flash Steps. And the six star abilities, he has normal attack damage of 20%. On top of that, half stamina only, decreased damage taken of 50%. It's the same skill that Kuriyoshiki has, that Yuha has, etc., etc., etc. Brave Battles only, first 10 seconds, Flurry plus one. Okay. Okay. Prevent last ditch survival in Brave Battles only. Yeah, basically the same skill that Chad, Kenny, Yuha, Kuriyashiki, the same stuff that they have. So, bye bye, Last Ditch. Ignore Brave Battle Invincibility, so he's gonna be scoring over Tsukishima, Juram, and Yama. And then, Flurry plus two. Flurry plus two, plus this. He has literally Flurry plus three in PvP. He is gonna be shredding everything. In the first 10 seconds. After those first 10 seconds are gone, he will pretty much only have Flurry Plus 2 with the 20% bruiser. What the hell is this unit, man? The bullet terror of plus 5 seconds, meaning that his、uh, status elements are gonna last a while once you get him to proc. Also has poise, so he cannot get staggered, and also has guard break. So if you guys don't like this character in PvP, You can use him in PvE just fine. He's gonna be like any other melee normal attacking character that can penetrate melee guard and be able to clear a lot more efficiently and also auto a bit more efficiently. So he's pretty much viable for that. But、um, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing a PvE showcase because let's be honest here, this character is gonna be hitting really hard, just as hard as Yuha, as a matter of fact. So we're not gonna get into that. So instead, we'll just jump onto PvP directly and showcase what this dog can do. So let's get right into it. Alright, here we are in PvP, and this is the team that we have set up. Now, the first five matches, we're gonna go with a defensive setup. And then the last five matches, we're gonna go for an offensive setup. So, here's what we have 
Kuriyashiki, Sajin, and Yuha all have a Golden Chappie, Chappie, and a Guitar, all with 30% defense, and the links are pretty much full damage reduction, as you guys can see from Sajin. Kuriyashiki, same thing, just that he has a Tatsuki for a bit more damage, and you know what, that's fine, because this guy is still going to be tanking a lot regardless. And then Yuha, uh, same thing that I pretty much described earlier on. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing five matches with this type of setup, and then five more matches with an all attack 30% setup. So let's get right into it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, his Kuriyashiki is max transcended, and I showcased him before on my channel with this same exact defensive setup. So maybe we'll keep Kuriyashiki in terms of being the defensive character, just to be safe. But now let's get started for real. Okay, uh, we have ourselves a 1 of 5 Sajin, a 1 of 5 Yu- What is this setup, bro? And then this Chad right here. Okay, well, you know what? Let's have Sajin paired up against Chad. Kuriyashiki against Sajin, and Yuha against Yuha, so let's get into it. Oh, and uh, hold on, let's do this. There we go. All right, let's give Sajin the dog food. All right, enjoy your meal, because this guy is a power human, and that's what you're designed for. And boom, look at that. He ate Chad. He ate Shad like as if he was eating his most favorite food, bro. <laughs> Literally. Uh, that's what he was designed for, so that's why you would want to use this character in PvP. Alright, we have ourselves a 4-5 Yuha and... What the frick is this? Okay, well, the Kurishiki is okay, but... What is this? Yeah, I'm gonna have that, uh, Sajin kill that Yuha, I don't care. Let me just do it. Alright, Sajin, eat him up. Yeah, there we go. And boom! Boom, look at that! Just like that! Sajin literally paralyzed Yuha. Yuha couldn't do anything, and he died just like that. A 5 of 5 Kuriyashiki with 2 star attack. Now here, let's just showcase Sajin's weakness real quick because... Yes, he is immune to everything. He is by far the best brave battle character that we have right now. However, just to prove a point, Sajin is gonna get 8 by Kuriyashiki unless we proc the Paralysis. So, uh, yeah, let's just give it a shot. Oh, damn it, I forgot to swap Kuriyashiki around, but... Let's just give it a shot. Alright. He also has... Okay, wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm eating this barrier. Yeah, there we go. Oh! Well, I guess goodbye, Kuriyashiki. So yeah, you can use him in PvP. However, just be careful. Because he is getting paralyzed by Sajin. He is not immune to paralysis. Alright, up next, we'll pair up Sajin against Kenny. Because this guy, believe it or not might make a comeback in PvP because this guy, believe it or not, is immune to paralysis, so he's not getting screwed over by Sajin in the slightest. That being said, why are f***ing bubbles, bro? I swear to god, it makes no sense. Alright, we're winning this, I don't even care, bro, let's just do this already, my goodness, man, I don't know what the hell these people are doing, I mean, okay, sure, we're in 4th seat, but still, that's like the gateway between that and 3rd seat. Which will give you access to extreme co-op, so like, come on! Alright. And, there we go. We killed, uh, Kenny. That being said, Kenny at 5-5, he is gonna be able to clap Sajin. So be careful about that. Boom, just like that, we won. We literally won. Alright, a full attack 1 of 5 setup. Where the hell are these guys using holo baits, bro? Why? 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 I'll tell you why. Okay, eight. Sajin's gonna eat up uh, Yuha. I said he's gonna eat up Yuha. And now Chad. And boom. Just like that. Just like that. And this was the defensive setup. Now we're gonna go for an offensive one. Alright, we're back with the offensive setup, and Kuriyashiki is the only one that we pretty much left unchanged just because he's 5-5 with uh, 300 defense, so we're not doing that. However, Sajin 
now has full 30% attack right across the bat. So he's going to be doing even more damage. And you know what? For Sajin, this is pretty much what you would want to go for. Because this guy has Flurry plus 3. He's going to be hitting so goddamn hard that you want to have the extra damage on him. For goddamn sure. And if you have him 4-5, get that guitar on him and you should be fine and ready to go. And uh, Yuha, same exact thing. But uh, we're just rocking the charm instead of the uh, guitar. So, uh, yeah. Let's just go and get right back into PvP and do five more matches. Okay, let's see how fast we can eat up this Chad for sure. Ooh, Noitora. That's a face that has been long forgotten, all right. Okay. Hmm. Well, obviously Noitora is not going to be able to kill Saji, and that's a guaranteed fact. So, let's see how this will go. All right. Let's see. In just three hits. In just three hits. The, uh, yeah, Chad died. Way. Okay, this team seems to be pretty strong. I'll say that much. And a very defensive Yamamoto. Hmm. Keep in mind, Tajin also does not have a weakening, so be careful. I'll say that much, but we'll just give it a shot. Okay. Can we crop this Yamamoto? Yep, we can. And goodbye. He won. Not even an invincible character that has weakening can stop this Sajin. Three out of five, Yuha. Once again, we're gonna have a nice. Ooh! Okay! Yuha? Let's just have that Sajin eat up that 5 5 Chad for sure. And, yeah, this will be the setup. Yeah, we should be good to go. Alright. And there we go. Chad is dead. Just like that. And we won. Easy. Alright, now here is something that we gotta test out. Versus a Max Transcendent Kuryashiki. Full attack. Ooh. Let's see if uh, Sajin can screw over this Kuryashiki. Although, I have doubts because I don't think uh, that's going to happen. Kuryashiki is just going to be too strong. He has attribute advantage plus captain killer. So, let's see. Let's see what happens. Obviously, he has the uh, damn barrier. But, and there we go. That's uh, Sajin's first loss. And, uh, yeah. Obviously, you can counter Sajin like this. It's very effective. But, um, yeah, that just happened. Now, let's just try to see if we can, you know, get ourselves a 6th Anniversary Aizen. Because it'd be interesting to see how he'll do. And, uh... Oh, wow. Why is he not transcended? This is a 5-5 five five Aizen. How much disrespect can you give him? I'm sorry. <sighs> let's just fight him regardless, bro. I don't even care. Let's just give him attack. So that way, we can pump out our strong attacks faster and see... If he's able to stop Aizen. I doubt it, but let's give it a shot. And... Let's see. Yeah. Another thing to be wary. For when playing as Sajin here in PvP. Try not to fight Aizens. Because Sajin is gonna get clapped by him. Easily. And I'm glad I'm showcasing him, just so that way I can pinpoint the strengths and weaknesses of the character. Now for this last match, I decided I want to be cocky and go for like a 1v3 against the three invincible PvP characters. And here we have the Max Transcended Suki, this kind of weak Yama, and this weak Suki. so... Interesting to see how this will play out. <laughs> I wonder if we can even survive this. Sajin, don't fail me now. You have Flurry plus three. Uh, I guess it's goodbye for them. Yeah, literally goodbye. <laughs> they just one v 3 We're not going to be able to do that, sadly, against the characters that have, like, Flurry plus two and whatnot, but still. That was fun. That was fun. Although, to be honest. Hmm. Screw it. I'm feeling cocky. Let's try doing this. If we lose, it's a whatever. <laughs> that was 
is so hilarious, bro. <laughs> what was that at the end? Kurishiki just got the soul bomb. Sajin was going to go to get it. He got so mad that he just decided to slap him. I'm sorry, that was just the funniest moment ever in Great Battles. What the hell was that? Okay, we're done showcasing him. So yeah, Sajin's the best Brave Battle character that we have in here. However, he is not invincible, like as we had back in 2020 with Jukrem and Suki being a thing. So you can pretty much hard counter this character with the best options that we have in the game. Like you can still use 6th Anniversary Aizen against this character. You can use Kuriyashiki. And honestly speaking, if you guys really do not care about this character, you can actually live pretty well without him if you have the other PvP character. Anyways, Shape, thanks again for letting me showcase your Saji. It was definitely a damn pleasure. And if you guys have actually enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And hit the bell notification, so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your buddy, the Deathmasher, and I am officially signing out. Take care, lads. Peace out.